Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are checking out a new city of tweak called Pattern Unlock and this will allow you to, as you probably guessed, unlock your device with a set pattern just by sliding to these dots here. So this is available now and it's pretty cool. It will allow you to set any pattern you like to unlock your device and it does have quite a few features involved here which we will check out here soon but definitely notable it uses AES 256 bit encryption and it also stores the uh, pattern in the device's keychain. So it's very secure, just as secure as the iOS passcode in my opinion, and it works very well. So let's go ahead and check out all of these settings involved here. We're gonna back out to the home screen. Then we're gonna go ahead and launch the settings app here. And as you can see under our tweaks, we have pattern unlock. Now if we go in there, we will be required to enter our pattern to access these settings. So once you've done that, you'll be revealed this list of options. Now the first thing here we have is to turn off pattern unlock then we can also change the pattern so you can do that just by tapping on that button and then entering your old pattern and then you can select a new one and then you have to repeat it so there you go we just changed the pattern to a z type pattern now underneath that we do have the option to set the time interval in which the device will require the pattern to be entered so as you can see right here, we have it set to immediately and you have options from one minute all the way up to four hours. There's quite a few settings here, so you can definitely find one that you're comfortable with using on your device. Uh, beneath that, we do have a themes section. Now by default, Pattern Unlock comes with five themes and you can view them simply by tapping on the arrows on the side here. It'll give you a little demonstration of what the pattern looks like and you can actually swipe through it. It works it's a fully functional demo of the theme, which is very, very cool. Also, you can change between them just by selecting them like this. So as you can see, I had Droid Flat selected. I'm going to select one and we can get a preview of that simply by tapping on the arrow. And when we go back, if we lock the device, the pattern is effective immediately. We do not have to respring or anything like that. Right down here, we do also have vibrations. And real quick before I get into that, I just want to let you know that there is a theming guide as well to all you themers out there. You can theme pattern unlock. But let's check out the vibration settings. We have haptic feedback for the pattern on the lock screen. You can use this to get feedback when you're actually touching a point on the pattern grid or you're successfully unlocking the device. And you can change these settings according to your preference, but as it notes here, the first slider sets the vibration duration and the second slider sets the vibration intensity. So you can adjust those and if you make something crazy and you really don't like it, you can reset the vibration settings down here at the bottom as it shows there. So those are the vibration settings for the haptic feedback. Obviously you're not going to be able to see this or hear it or feel it within this video, but in my opinion, it works very well. Now the additional features here, we do have the ability to hide the option bar and that is this little bar right here at the top which allows us to dial an emergency call and then it also allows us to exit out of the pattern little grid right there. So if we go ahead and enter the pattern in here, inside of the settings, let's go back into pattern unlock. And if we turn off the option bar, you'll see that those options actually disappear. So we do not have that bar there anymore. Now also, you can leave the option bar on, but disable the emergency call button. So if you go back out to the lock screen, You'll see that we do have the ability to close out of the pattern grid, but you do not have the SOS option over here anymore. Now the last option down here is the ability to block the device. And as it notes here, when enabled and the pattern is entered incorrectly too often, your device will be blocked. This blocking behavior is identical to the standard passcode lock. So basically when you enter it in wrong enough, as you would on the standard iOS passcode lock, you actually get that wrong pattern and eventually it will lock you out of the device and you'll have to wait X amount of minutes to re-enter the pattern. So that is a pretty cool security feature, but like I said, this is a very impressive tweak. It works very well and I definitely go ahead and check it out if you're into that whole Android lock screen style. Now if you're interested, you can pick up Pattern Unlock in the Big Boss repo for only $1.99 be sure to check it out, and as always, everybody, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, everybody. This is Dom, and have a great day.